hello everyone now there's a thing i got an error from the compiler that system dot index out of range exception index was outside the bounds of the array here you can see i have declared an e string array but there are no specified any size so that's why this is happening i'm going to assess a position in the array which is not available because i have not include the size of the array now we are doing this thing when we no know what are the values by putting these braces here we can uh, put the elements and the compiler will automatically assign the size to this array by reading how many elements in these braces now actually without specify the size we cannot declare or uh, go ahead with this array because you can see array creation must have array size or array initializer okay now as the solution i'm not going to use this type of array but instead c sharp provide a beautiful thing called list now here we are going to put angle brackets list angle bracket and then inside the angle bracket we are going to type what is the type of the list and then we are going to specify the array name now actually we are calling to this type of arrays as list now here i'm going to define the variable name for this as arr names is equals to new list and then angle bracket inside the angle bracket is string and then finally this parenthesis and then semicolon now you can play with this list for example here this provide the ability to add elements by using this method call add the variable name dot add okay now inside parenthesis you can pass in the value now there's uh, another one this provide you to ability that allow you to delete an element for here you are going to pass in the array element content here for example there was a name let's consider as a chain so this particular element will be deleted from this list now to delete all here we can use this method remove all now you can go ahead and play around this list and also you don't have to use a string here you can use int or whatever type of data type okay now actually we have limitations to this primitive type of array that's why we have this solution called list now i hope this video helps and if this video helps please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you